Hey guys, it's Kat. Today I wanted to share a slightly different kind of video for you. Uh, I've been making these earrings, I don't know if you've ever noticed them, but um, the paper crane earrings. And so um, I started an Etsy store about a month or two ago because lots of people were like, you should make more of them and start Etsy stores. Thank you so much to the people who have already bought these earrings and have left me amazing reviews. I really appreciate them. My friend Rachel offered to make a documentary for me on these earrings and on my Etsy store and so here it is. Check it out. One, two, three, four. I do remember folding uh, origami when I was a kid and growing up in Japan. For me, it's it's my heritage. My grandmother really um, loved origami. In her room, there were all these beautifully handcrafted things. And so even though I don't remember ever doing origami with her, I know that she was very good with her hands. She really is truly a creative person. The crane is really the standard for origami. It's not the easiest to fold, but it's still the standard and, and it really means a lot to Japanese people because in a way it's almost like the national bird. I don't know if you've heard the story, but in Hiroshima after the nuclear bomb, there was a little girl um, who was 10 years old, who was dying of leukemia and she made it her goal to fold a thousand of these cranes. It gave her hope that she would get better. It's such a beautiful story of hope and um, ever since then it's, it's become a very famous story throughout the world. Paper cranes symbolize hope and peace and I love that. I didn't really think to make jewelry until the last couple of years. I love music and, and I love touring, I love playing shows and now that things are getting more and more digital I've been selling less and less CDs at shows and so I've been trying to be creative in making tangible things. I think I saw some paper crane earrings at the Japanese festival a few years ago and was just so inspired by them, it was so beautiful and wondered how I could maybe make something that was unique to me and to my background and so I decided to make picks out of vinyl records. So I'd go to thrift stores and I was looking for vinyl and that's when I found this beautiful sheet music. As soon as I saw this tiny paper I envisioned these musically inspired Japanese paper crane earrings. Even though paper crane earrings are not necessarily original, it's be nice that I could personalize it to something that is of me and to take a passion that I have and a hobby that I've always had and to turn it into something that other people can enjoy is really special to me. Yay! Thanks for watching this far. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like and thumbs up and share it with other origami enthusiasts or ear loving type people. Um, also, if you're interested in my Etsy store, there is a link below. You can go check that out. And um, thanks again for watching. There's a new music video coming really, really soon. Guys, I'm so excited. It's going to be my very first single off the new album. So you have no idea. Yay. So anyway, um, I'll be back soon with some more. Deets on that, yeah! Alright, bye guys.